Mouse, I need that fair one, jeez. I need them hands, jeez. I need them fisty cuffs, bruh. Nigga just shot the big, big, big homie. Pause. What? The fuck was wrong with this scary ass nigga, jeez? This nigga had more than enough time. Yo, oh my motherfucking, yo, jeez. This nigga mouse got me tight as a motherfucker right now. Scary niggas with guns, bro. Scary niggas with guns, my nigga. Nigga almost took out the big homie, son. It's all good, though, because big homie going to be on that ass. Mouse is getting out of here. I'm, I'm calling it for now. By the time this shit, by the time season finale, Mouse is dead. Kareem, another one. Feel me? Kareem was supposed to get that. Mouse, how you fucked that up, bro? My nigga, Kareem was fucking ragdolling his shit all episode. The one moment you see this nigga, you see him fucking with Rome. What the fuck? Yo, Mouse is the dumbest nigga I've ever seen in life, my nigga. In life, my nigga. Mouse don't have no fucking sense, my nigga. Sense over here, nigga. Mouse all the way over there at West Bubba Fuck, my nigga. Mouse is the dumbest nigga, hands down. Bro, you see Rome. You see Kareem. You said, hmm... This is a perfect time to test out my Call of Duty skills. Let me try and buck this nigga from a mile away with this pistol. Mouse, you don't bust guns. Yo, my nigga, I know I'm mad loud. My bad. Let me tone it down. Sir. Let me tone it down, my nigga. Because now nah, y'all niggas know, so Rome, Rome the big homie. Y'all niggas already know, so Rome is the big homie, my nigga. This nigga, who? Mouse, what the fuck was you doing? You was smoking some tweeds. Nigga was playing that new Resident Evil 7 shit that just came out. And that nigga said, hmm, let me test my aim. Nigga saw Kareem, bro. Bro, it wasn't like he seen Kareem just just walking on, on, on a humble, on the strength, feel me? He seen the nigga wrestling with Rome. And the nigga said, hmm, I got this shot. And completely missed, my nigga. Completely missed his target, my nigga. Who gets shot instead? Fucking Rome. Mouse, you are an idiot. Hold this fat ass L. Well, matter of fact, nigga, you're going to be holding more than that pause because niggas is going to air you the fuck out. I, I'm calling it, my nigga. Before the season is over, this shit, Mouse, man. My nigga, you knew it was real when the nigga ran into Maine and was like, yo, yo, so I just hit Rome. Nigga, Maine told me to get the fuck away from me, my nigga. I never seen Maine say that, my nigga. Shout out to Maine and Rome because in early in the episode, them niggas really, they look more... I don't want to say if it's just because of the situation. That's why it is. But them niggas look more f more like family more than it is with him and Melo. Granted, he didn't tell Rome exactly what happened with Jerry and shit like that. But still, Jerry, no. Rome knows that Jerry got hit. And then when he pressed Maine about the situation, he didn't really necessarily press Maine either. He just asked him about the shit. It's it was really on some big brother, little brother shit. I don't know. I, I think low key Maine liked that shit. Feel me? If it came down to it, I don't say who he would choose, but... Fuck that shit, nigga. If it came down to it, bro, I think this nigga main would choose Rome over Melo in a heartbeat. Granted, Melo was big cousin, but still Rome. Rome protects you, my nigga. Yeah, yeah, Jerry. No, I'm getting the fucking names. From yeah, Melo put the money in your pocket, no doubt. Feel me? Melo make sure that you, I mean, bread fed. I mean, you got money. You ain't got to worry about that shit. But as far as protection and hammers and shit go, nah, nigga. You got to get right with Rome first, feel me? Everybody know that shit, feel me? That's why we need that background. That's why we need that motherfucking, that little history between Rome and Melo. Not only that, I'm more interested in the history with all these niggas now. It almost kind of seemed like they grew up in high school type shit. And then once they got of a certain age and shit, they departed their own separate ways. And then they started to become like the men in their hood and shit. Like fucking... That's my Spanish nigga, um, Raul. Raul became like the man in his hood, Billy in his hood, Melo in his hood, so on and so forth. Even fucking rat ass Dre. Cause granted though, rat ass Dre is still rat ass Dre. Dre didn't, um, tell his dread man that son was still alive. Feel me? He didn't tell the dread nigga that Jerry was still alive. It's funny because the, the same dread nigga was pressing this nigga like, even he was questioning Dre's, um, authenticity in the hood right now because this nigga looks like, you look, you don't look solid. You don't look valid. Niggas is you asking niggas for work. Niggas is acting dumb with you. Like, nah, I don't know what you talking about. My nigga from the outside looking in, 
imagine I'm, I'm rolling with you or some shit. I need some sweet. I'm like, yo, you know anybody with some sweet? You call somebody over that you know. You from this hood. And then you asking that nigga for some bud. That nigga like, nah, he don't know what you're talking about. I'm going to look at you funny. So the Dread nigga did exactly that. The nigga was looking at Dre funny like, Dre was good out here. Jeez, you you ain't telling me something, nigga. You need to let me know something in the center and the third. So after all that was said and done and shit, Dre was putting them on like, yo, the streets the same. My nigga, be careful and shit. He didn't tell Dre exactly what happened, but he told a nigga. Be careful, feel me? Shout out to to, to my nigga, Melo Cousin. I, I still don't know this nigga. The big nigga who always with the New York shit. That nigga had one of the smoothest, flyest, red Pele Pell leathers. No homo. That shit was butter soft, geez. That shit looked like some popcorn butter shit. Straight live, nigga. Nigga was funny as hell because the nigga started off talking about some fucking some fat bitches and shit. Shout out to all the fat bitches and all that, but I ain't even going to spend too much time talking about the fat bitches. I don't want to sound too like I'm... I'm dissing fat bitches and nothing, but fat bitches is great. Fat bitches is a good start out, bitches. I feel like the starter kit for any nigga that's about to get in pussy, like you about to be on some crazy pussy spree. Your starter, your starter kit is ugly bitches and fat bitches, but we're going to leave that subject totally, completely, and we're going to move on. So this nigga Hefe, I guess Hefe is in the business of cleaning up Clarence after Christmas sales and all this shit, because this nigga went to Raul's spot looking for the work. Not only that, he left Raul a gift. I'm going to leave y'all niggas that gift to go find out in the episode. Hopefully, I'm going to find that fucking episode link and put in the description link. I tried to do that shit earlier. You know what? Since I'm on the subject and topic, y'all niggas respect life owes me a blunt and a breakfast sandwich. Because earlier this morning, I was I was bamboozled. Feel me? I was under the impression that there was going to be an episode. So, I rolled up my spliff. Feel me? I had my food ready. What I like to do is is oven roast my spliff. What that means is if there's a um a toaster oven nearby that's convenient or more preferably a portable space heater, smell me. Leave that motherfucking spliff on the space heater, let that shit cook up for a little minute, let it roast up, oven roast the spliff right there. My nigga in the process of me oven roasting the damn spliff, I'm getting ready to oh shit, it just came out. I clicked the motherfucker using his remove video. Jeez. I was so fucking tight, I had to button the spliff, my nigga, to calm me down. So I need respect life to send over that little, um, um, I, I, I'm going to be fair. Send, you, you can send a dub, I got you, feel me? Nah, but real shit, though, know what I mean? It was a great episode, my nigga. I get this shit dead ass. It just feels like the episodes are getting better and better, my nigga. This is another five out of five more episode. Everybody was here. Everybody you ain't seen in a minute was in this shit. Los was in this shit. Fucking, um... Melanie fine ass cousin was in this shit. She was sent down for for a reason. I have no idea. Show show the bubble. Niggas want to see the bubble. You mad cute. You light skin. You pretty. I'm not saying dark skin bitches ain't cute too, but I'm sticking on Melanie cousin. Melanie cousin is a bad bitch. Mel, get your fucking head out your ass. Feel me? You are bugging out here. I could have swore I ain't even gonna be on no fucking petty shit like oh I called her I called her da, 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 feel me, but I could have swore I mentioned that yo this nigga Sammy aka Joel Ortiz, I'm I'm gonna start it off right feel me. Most of you niggas in the comment section, shout out to the comment section, y'all niggas keep shit jumping and live feel me. But most of y'all niggas was saying that this Joel Ortiz niggas was probably the nigga who Dre snitched on. Could have possibly been a cop too. I also thought that yo. Mel is naive as a motherfucker, feel me? Like, this bitch could have been the fourth Stooges type shit. She could sell her shit out some coke, but that bitch dumb as a motherfucker when it come to common sense, feel me? Well, I ain't gonna say only coke, because she really did use her head that time when Mel got shot. But fuck all that shit. My nigga, this motherfucker, Sammy, Joel Ortiz, is the nigga, is Mel Home, um, Mel Home Girl, um, man's, you know, the shady, shiesty bitch from the first episode who was in the motherfucking apartment with Mel, with Melanie when she was bagging up the coke and shit. That grimy, shaky bitch who sent them first niggas to come rob Melanie. And Melanie had to get fucking desperado on niggas and po, 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 po. Feel me? Niggas tried to rob that bitch. That bitch said, ha, ha, ha. My nine thinks different. Pow, 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 nigga. Shot all them niggas. Feel me? Shout out to my nigga, Paul Kane. I seen you on that other shit, nigga. I know what's going on, nigga. I know what's going on. You ain't no respect life no more. I seen you on that other shit, nigga. But word, though, geez. Overall, great episode. Five out of five blunts. The fucking surprises was worth it. The drama was worth it. Shit was lit, nigga. Nigga, Melo had to talk to this nigga, Kareem, like he needed to be talked to, nigga. Again, nigga, we seen the nigga Rome. We seen everybody. Nah, Jerry wasn't in this episode. That's crazy. It ain't even dawn on me in this episode. We even seen XM. Now, initially, I wasn't a fan of XM. XM was funny as fuck this episode, and I ain't even gonna lie. The nigga did his thing. 
if that's what his character was supposed to be for, for like comedy relief and funny shit, the nigga nailed it. The nigga nailed that motherfucker, my nigga. I don't know, geez. Great episode, my nigga. Vlad, I don't know where you at. Shout out to my nigga Wax Stone. See my nigga black in that motherfucker. Free my nigga Tax Stone, the worst. But other than that, geez, check that episode out. I'm going to try to find a link if they ain't delete the motherfucker. Feel me? I'm out of here. Bald heads, man. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. Remember, sharing is caring. Subscribe to that shit. I'm out of here. Bald heads.